guys. Ali Udome, the chief whip of the Nigerian Senate, has called for the lift, lifting of sanctions imposed on Niger Republic following the military takeover. Udome urged both President Bola Tinubu and the Economic Community of West Africa states, ECOWAS, to reconsider the sanctions, arguing that they have adversely affected the people of Niger rather than the coup leaders led by General Aduramani. Hello everyone, welcome back to Prospect Channels TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Udome urges Tunubu to send Buhari, Iakubu, and others to negotiations with Niger Junta. Ali Udome, the chief whip of the Nigerian Senate, has called for the lifting of sanctions imposed on Niger Republic following the military takeover. Udome urged both President Bola Tinubu and the Economic Community of West African States ECOWAS to consider to reconsider the sanctions, arguing that they have adversely affected the people of Niger rather than the coup leaders led by General Duramani. According to a report from Daily Post, Udome emphasized that the sanctions have led the economic hardships of Nigerians living in Nigerians living in border areas of various Nigerian states, including Kano, Zamfara, Borunu, Kastina, Sokoto, Uchigawa, Kebe, and Yube. The, the senator suggested that a more targeted approach be taken. Penalizing the group leaders individually each instead of imposing sanctions on the entire country. Ali Dome proposed an alternative approach, recommending that President Tinubu engage in diplomatic efforts by sending four former military heads of state, retired generals Yakubu Gowan, Abubakar, Abdusala, Abdus. Salami, Muhammad Buhari, and Ibrahim Babangida to negotiate with the, the junta, the military junta in Niger, the coup, which occurred on July 26, 2023, led to the unlawful removal of President Mohamed Bazoum, democratically elected government. Expressing his dissatisfaction with the, the swift imposition of economic sanctions by ECOWAS, Ali Dume highlighted the need for dialogue and engagement with Chanta, suggesting that diplomatic negotiations could yield more constructive outcome than blanket sanction, sanctions on the entire nation. The decision by ECOWAS to impose economic sanctions on Niger was, however, rushed instead of the National Assembly engaging in conversation with the junta. It stated, Okay, guys, you've all heard it now. Ali Dome is uh, urging President Bola Metinobo to lift the sanctions on Niger. Republic, according to him, he said the sanction, you know, is affecting Nigerians. It's also affecting Nigerians as well. You understand? So, what is the, you know, is the need when your people is being uh, a sanction, uh, being uh, affected by the sanction? He advised it would be better if these people. You know, are punished individually. That is what he said. He said it would be better if they are punished individually rather than, you know, imposing this heavy uh, sanction on, um, on everybody. 
you know, in the country and and like and and also the the president should send the former five heads of state, military head of state, to make sure that you know they negotiate with these people. If you even look at the matter self, hmm? if you look at the matter, since when they impose this sanction on the uh the people of Niger, the Niger Republic people, you not know, even shake them. You see, the people are not even accusing the 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 military junta for this. For you to know that they are even comfortable with the military takeover. Yes, they are comfortable with the military takeover. African leaders have to learn sense. They should understand that democracy does not mean that. It's the government in their pocket for their pocket and their family. The government for everybody. Let the people you are governing see the dividends of democracy. It's not for uh, some certain particular individuals to benefit. These are the problem, you know, that brings all these military takeover and all that. If you can recall when it happened, majority of Nigerians were like, ah, I beg, I wish this one go happen for Nigeria. I wish this one go happen for Nigeria. For people who are under democracy to say, I beg, we prefer military rule. That means something is wrong. So guys, I'm dropping it in. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.